Trial for rapper Young Thug resumes tomorrow morning. This case has gained national attention for its high profile members. And it's also been plagued with wild antics and delays. We have Atlanta News first anchor Tori Cooper joining us now live in studio. Tori, the judge had to extend the holiday break for jurors after one of the co defendants was actually stabbed in the jail. That's right, Savannah, and this is just one of the many delays we've seen in this trial. But with each delay, some attorneys worry they're losing ground with the jury. We're about to hit the one year anniversary, which is going to be next January 4th. That's when the whole thing got started with jury selection. After nearly a year of spectacle and delays, the trial for Atlanta rapper Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, will resume Tuesday. Prosecutors allege Williams and five co-defendants named in the RICO indictment are members of the Young Slime Life YSL gang, while defense attorneys argue YSL is simply the name of a record label. There's been a lot of motions. There's been a lot of drama. Suri Chata Jimenez is a defense attorney for one of the co-defendants in the case. His client's charges have been dismissed and are no longer part of the YSL trial, but he's been a part of the slow-moving trial. He says most of the drama has surrounded the jury selection process that lasted 10 months, marking the longest selection process in Georgia history. Some of the courtroom antics happened back in April when a potential juror was jailed for filming court proceedings. Defendant Rodelius Ryan, a.k.a. Lil Rod, was also removed and searched after suspicion of possession of marijuana. A family member was accused of trying to pass a defendant tobacco products in court and one of the attorneys representing a defendant was arrested on charges of simple battery, possession, and for disrupting the court proceedings. And just three weeks ago... We recessed because uh, one of our participants has had a medical issue, and I was telling you about that. Judge Earl Glanville rang the recess bell early after defendant Shannon Stilwell was stabbed inside the Fulton County Jail. His attorney says he'll be in court tomorrow, but attorneys like Jimenez believe disruptions may continue to happen. Every delay that has happened, I think you can trace it back to it's impossible to have something move flawlessly when you're trying to have a trial that's going to be six to nine months. Well, the trial resumes tomorrow at 9 a.m. Blair, Savannah. Tori, thank